Samantha Wilson is a single mom in Jacksonville, a college student, and a sugar baby on the website SeekingArrangement.com. There are guys worth millions of dollars. Wealthy men who checked out her profile and messaged her, like this business owner from Ponte Vedra, whose profile says he is married but looking for a friend with benefits. And his net worth is one million. His budget is practical, which really means he'll give you anything you want. From attorneys to doctors to business owners, these sugar babies say their sugar daddies are very generous. He's probably given me around 5000 in the past three months. It still leaves me speechless. He'll typically, maybe in a week's time, give me about 1500 to $2,000. And he gives you that money in exchange for what? My company. A lot of these guys don't go looking for sex, which is what a lot of people think. We actually never had sex. We but she admits her relationships with other sugar daddies have been sexual. Is it prostitution, trading sex for money? It's not the same at all. Um, with prostitution, they give you money, you give them sex. You probably never see each other again, but this is different. Um, we talk a lot. We go out on dates. We're seen in public. Kirsten Johnson, a spokeswoman for SeekingArrangement.com, told us that while the site often gets compared to an escort service, it's not. Well, you exchange money for the companionship, for the friendship, for the mentorship. You know, there's a whole bunch of things wrapped up in that, not just sex. Wilson says her sugar daddies have given her about 10 grand. Johnson says the average student receives about $3,000 a month in gifts, travel, and money. It's funny because we never targeted two college students. The student debt is just crazy, you know, especially in the U.S. So students have just flocked to the site. The University of Central Florida in Orlando was the site's fastest growing sugar baby school in the nation in 2013. This year, nearly 700 UCF students are listed as sugar babies. The numbers at the University of Florida jumped to nearly 300 and nearly 400 at Florida State. And there are more than 550 sugar babies at the University of Georgia. But John Oliver, an adjunct professor of human sexuality at UNF, who learned about the site from his students, says it's too early to know the long-term emotional and psychological ramifications. They're still basically selling some commodity, which in this case really is the self. But I think that's, that can be dehumanizing.